We'd like to look at this example, the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 5 equals negative 11. Remember we're using the property of zero, that two numbers multiplied together or two quantities multiplied together equals zero if and only if a equals zero or b equals zero. So if we want to use this property of zero, we have to have zero on one side of the equation. Our only choice is to multiply out the left side. So we get 2x squared, what is it, minus 10x plus 3x minus 15 equals negative 11. Now we'll combine like terms on the left side, 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 equals negative 11. Now add 11 to both sides. We're getting 0 on one side now. We're going to add 11 to both sides. 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 plus 11 equals negative 11 plus 11. So finally we have the 0 on one side. 2x squared minus 7x. What is that? Minus 4 equals 0. Well now what are we doing to solve this quadratic equation? We're factoring. So now, just like we did in Chapter 5, we're going to factor. Let's see, how does that work? Well, we know this has to be 2x and x. But there aren't very many choices there. Because it's negative 4, then we could either have plus 2, minus 2, or negative 1, 4, or positive 1, negative 4. If we look at the middle term, negative 7, then we think, well, we need pretty much, a pretty big one. So let's try negative 4 over here and plus 1 here. If we check that, it will work. We get 2x squared and then minus 8x plus x, that's minus 7x minus 4. That is the factorization of 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. So now we're going to use the property of 0 and say now we do have 0 on one side and we can say 2x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0 and solve each of those equations separately. So we subtract the equation on the left, we subtract 1 from both sides, 2x equals negative 1 and then we divide both sides by 2, x equals negative 1 half. Or, for the equation on the right, all we have to do is add 4 to both sides. x equals 4. Those are our two solutions. x equals negative 1 half or 4. Notice I'm putting this in braces here since it's a set of two distinct answers. And if we evaluate that equation at either x equals minus 1 half or x equals 4, it will, it will be a true statement that the left side will equal the right side.